Hey everyone, welcome back to JavaScript tutorial. In this lecture, we will talk about jump statements. In JavaScript, there are few jump statements that are allow you to jump from the specific place to the new location. These jump statements causes the JavaScript to jump a new location in the source code. Just like the break statement used to jump to the end of the loop or other statement. Jump statement are used to jump the execution to the new location. There are few statements that allow you to jump from specific location to the new location. Now let's understand how jump statements work. The first jump statement is break. So the break statement use alone. Break statement causes the switch statement or the innermost in closing loop to be exit immediately. The syntax of break statement is very simple. Just write a break keyword like this and specify semicolon. That's it. I think you already seen the example of break statement in the switch case. But break statement is not limited for that. Here is the example. I will create a for loop here. So I will say for and in the bracket I will specify let i is equal to 1 i is less than equal to 5 and i plus plus now i will just print this i on the console right so the result would be 1 2 3 4 5 you will get 1 to 5 on the console now let's see what's happen if i use break statement in the loop so i just wanted to add the break statement here so I will just specify if condition and in the expression I will specify if i is equal to 3 then I will break the loop. Now when you execute this statement you will get 1 and 2 on the console because using break statement we break the loop execution. So when the i value became 3 then the if condition became true and execute the break statement then the break statement will terminate the loop and exit from the loop block. JavaScript allow us to use break keyword with label statement. We will learn what is label statement after a few minutes. But now let's understand what is syntax of a break label statement. The syntax of a break label statement is as following. So I will say break label name and specify semicolon. So this is the syntax of a break label statement. Using the break label statement with the break keyword the break execution jump to the terminate in closing statement that has specified label. Now we'll first understand what is label statement. Now the statement may be labeled by preceding it with an identifier and a semicolon. Using the label statement, JavaScript allows you to specify a name to the specific block that you can refer it to the elsewhere in the program. You can label any statement, although it is very helpful when it has body, such as loops. By giving the name, you can use a break statement inside the body. So here is the syntax of a label statement. So I will say identifier colon statement and just specify semicolon at the end. Now let's take an example and understand how label statement works. I will just write some code here. So I will say let a equal to 1 and then I will say label colon and then specify the while loop. So I will say while in the expression I will specify a is equal to 1 and in the statement I will print the a on the console using console.log method and then I will say break label. So now when you execute this statement, you will get one on the console. If you omit the break label statement, then the while loop execute thousands of time because we did not specify any false statement in the while block to terminate the loop. Now if you remove the break label statement and execute this code, your browser will print 1 on the console more than thousands of times. 
and it will be continuously printing the one value on the console. So don't remove the break statement otherwise you could need to close your browser. Right? That's it. I hope you understand this lecture. In the next tutorial we will move forward and learn some more jump statements. So that is all for now. We will see you in the next tutorial.